Well, that's Jesse. I'm going to make a specific videos on things going on at school boards and the racist stuff that goes on there because I know a lot of people have been asking me how I find some stories. Like, my mother has no idea about half this crap. But she don't pay attention to, to the internet and stuff like that. So I, I'm just going to I do all my work and make sure I get everything right. So you can see exactly what some of the stuff is going on. So there's a a Michigan Jackson County School Board member by the name of Keisha Hamilton. Now, she's in some shit now because of some tweets. So the first tweet, whiteness is so evil it manipulates, then says, I won't apologize for my dishonesty and trauma-inducing practices and thinks you should applaud it for being honest about its ability to manipulate and be dishonest. So now imagine me with my shaved head sitting up there in front of everybody on a school board member and saying blackness is so evil. They would throw me off the same day. I'd be labeled every single racist name you could possibly think of. But she's a black woman, so of course it's, it's just totally ignored. This one. This is her next tweet. The last thing you have to worry about is an animal. Though they could be a very real threat. More dangerous are any whites you may see on the trail. Be safe. So now imagine that. More dangerous are any blacks you may see on the trail. That's straight up beyond racist if I've ever heard it. Next thing. Next tweet. Whiteness is a construct. A normalization with a foundation in white supremacy Recent examples of the normaliz normalization of whiteness with a foundation of white supremacy are the murder of George, George Floyd, the massacre of black residents in Buffalo, New York, the attempted kidnapping of Governor Whitmer, the attack on our democracy on January 6th, inconsistencies of our criminal justice system. She said the tweet comparing calling white people more dangerous than animals in the woods refers to the challenges black people in the United States continue to face when attempting to establish and protect the right to freedom of movement. The United States has a long-standing history of effects aimed at keeping black people from enjoying freedom of movement and restricting them from entering spaces that have been racialized as white. So walking in the woods is, is, is a white thing. That's a, that's a cop out right there. That's a lie and the stupidest thing I ever heard. She also said, these white women are the stupidest. That was a tweet. Now, if someone said these black women are the stupidest, it'd be hell. So now you think about that. That is a woman who is on the school board. So she's, you're, you can say what you want. That's straight up hatred for white people. She's putting everybody in the same mix, basically, and hating them for their skin color. So now imagine how she treats your, ch your child, a white child, with the kind of respect she's showing right there in a classroom. You know damn well she's not treating them like she's treating the black kids. I mean, I don't know what, how much further this has to go before anybody says anything. I mean, that's, that's somebody in the education system that is going against one specific group based on their skin color, just on, you know, her, her opinion. No proof whatsoever, just her opinion. So I don't know when we're going to say that enough is enough, because I think it's time now. I mean, it doesn't matter what we do. I mean, nothing is ever good enough to satisfy these people, so... Like the greatest threat, in my personal opinion, to the freedom of, of black people is other black people. I don't know why they don't, they, I think they do realize that, but it's easier to push it off on us. And we're not going to move forward in this country at all and, and evolve as, as people, basically, when the solution for racism is just, the solution for past racism is just basically redirecting it, redirecting it to white people. I mean, that's just ignorant and vengeful, basically. And she is actually a member of the, the racial equity. She's a racial equity consultant on the school board. 
That, that says a lot. But there were several people that came to the school board and was, was raising, you know, hell about it. And then, of course, there was one white guy that was taken up for, you know, there's always one of them idiots. It, it's just, it's embarrassing. And she's allowed to say, I mean, that's straight up, it's a double standard beyond anything. She can sit up here and say that stuff and have just absolutely nothing happen to her. We, we're, not, we're not even actually in the classroom with these people. You could imagine the way that they're treating the white kids with, with this much hatred that they have in their heads. None of them have been slaves. They just want to use that bullshit to their advantage. And if anybody right now would, would turn this around and say the same thing, I mean, we already see how that goes. White people can't say anything at all about black people. Now, if she wants to say shit like that, so be it. White people should be allowed to say the same thing. If we were both allowed to say the same thing, then it would be fair. Then she could tweet this bullshit all she wants. That would solve all of it. You could be as racist as you want right there. Just stay it all day long, but so can we. And that, that would actually at least make it a little bit more fair. Rather than let's just direct all the hatred towards white people and make us feel like we've done something, which we freaking haven't. We need to grow up. This is a totally different time. Everybody, there's, there's no slaves. There's none of that nonsense. Everybody has the same. I mean, you can do whatever you want. You can apply for any job you want. I, I guess us white people are the only ones that can walk in the woods, which is fucking stupid. That's probably the dumbest thing I've ever heard someone say concerning race. You can't even walk in the woods. But that's just one woman, and she she's actually a school board member, so just one hundred percent pure racist, and she and she should have been kicked off that day. The first time someone brings up something that completely is going against an entire race based on their skin color, in the position of power like she is, she should have been re immediately removed or suspended until the, an investigation was done. But they did an investigation, and she just basically kissed ass and got out of it without apologizing to anybody. That's pretty sad. There was another black member up on the school board that was basically saying that we can't uh, we have to move past this or something like that. I was like, yeah, it's easy for you to say. But this is just one of several. There, there's so many of them that I've seen lately that it's just, they say worse stuff than that, which believe it or not, I didn't think it was possible. But, but I'll get to them. So you see how racist these people are. And we're the ones that have to sit here and keep taking the, the, the brunt force of it, and it's just bullshit. Hopefully your kids will go home and tell you if some of this stuff is happening at your school, but most of them won't because they're scared to say anything. But I'm going to keep making it very, very known of this shit because this, I'm personally sick of it. I'm not even racist, but they're, they're slowly making me racist. And, if it's, and then it's not just me. You know, there's people that have never even looked at another black person and, and not once thought of race. Now that's, that's all you think about because that's all they want you to think about. We're going further and further back and it's not going to end well. But that's it for this one. All right, thanks.